Hey everyone, welcome to my channel where I talk about all things tech and finance. And in this video, I'll be discussing how to load and save machine learning models in both R and Python. This is by no means a dive in into the type of models that I will be using as an example. Um, all the models that I'm using in this video, I have already done a video on the theory and also the applications for these specific models. So these models range from lasso regression, ridge regression, elastic net regression, linear modeling, all the way up to recurrent neural networks, GRUs, and LSTM. So I'll be doing a demonstration or, or a tech demo on how to save and load these models just for future use so you don't have to continuously train them and you can load them in different notebooks um, so i'll make sure i link the videos uh, if you're interested in those specific models if you ever want to apply those for whatever you may use uh, on your own so over here uh, i just have a real quick script on just the loading or just the uh, hashing out the data uh, related to R. This is going to be related to ridge regression. And also I have a bunch of other models that I use as an example. So let us run this. Also, probably the most important part just for uh, verification and make sure making sure that your model is actually saved correctly. Uh, this is sort of like a brute force way, but you, all, you have to make sure you set a seed. Make sure you set the seed to, um, just remember what seed number it is because you could be setting the seed uh, to your new notebook so you can compare and contrast. So let us remove everything, uh, all of our data, set working directory, load the data, and then just, just like run everything. Since I already know um, that it all works, I don't have to worry about any bugs or all that. Since this is largely just an example. So I'm running the, through the linear regression. And this is where um, this is where you're saving your weights. So I already saved my linear model, all right, elastic net, ridge regression, and lasso regression. So uh, note that over here for the predictions, let me actually just take a snapshot over here. Uh, the mean squared error, mean squared, um, just mean squared error for elastic, lasso, and linear ridge. Since I'll be using this for, oh, let me actually delete that. Since I'll be using that for uh, justification to see if the model is actually working uh, so that it can transfer through. So this is essentially just like transfer learning. And I did a video on this on uh, GANs, if you want to check that out. It's really, really nifty. That's like a million dollar model right there. Uh, but nonetheless, um, this is where you have to just uh, incorporate the save function. I think it's built in, no need to install it. And this is what your uh, the name of your model is and the data type. So in R, it's just called R data. And, and over here, I just pulled up the lasso regression folder. And this is what the R data is uh, in terms of just like the model itself. And I created an additional script over here loading testing models over here so let's actually remove everything and see if it actually works where we set the seed remember it was one two three and the seed over here was one two three and this is just in terms of just like cleaning up the data and getting the correct uh, randomized inputs so that we can have the same outputs and then all you do is just you load your load in your data got your ln model um, you have the elastic net you got the lasso you got the ridge and as you can see on the right hand side, the data has been loaded. So it's pretty much the exact same uh, as you would see on just like um, on the previous script. And then of course, this is just loading in the data. You got your training, your testing, testing values over here. And let's run that through. So all the data uh, should be in the same manner from the previous script in terms of the training and testing. And then this is where all my mean squared errors are being plugged into here. So let's compare over here. So we have a mean squared error, we've got 32.59, 32.59, 32.63, so on and so forth. So that is how you save and load models in R. So in Python, I've already created a script related to running RNNs, LSTMs, and GRUs. So do make sure if, if you're interested in those videos, check them out. Uh, they are very great in terms of theoretical and the applied aspects. But nonetheless, uh, I essentially just ran through a bunch of time series data and related to Bitcoin. 
And related to that, um, I already have the models are actually still in here. So I wanted to get an output similar to this, um, but note that the output that we're going to get on the other notebook might be different just due to the applications of the time series um, aspects and how I clean the data, uh, but it should be very, very similar. Um, so over here, uh, I have three models, the RNN model by get weights, um, GRU models, and also the LSTM model. And these are the weights. Essentially, we use these weights in order to construct the overall uh, neural network system that we got going on. And then over here, similar to the um, the R packages when when it comes to saving loading uh, models, related to the uh, neural networks, we just want to make sure the data points or the data values are H5, and we have the uh, the H5 values over here. So let's go to the next notebook on here where I essentially just copied and pasted all of my corresponding values. Let's do BTC. I just copied and pasted my methodology and loading the models in. You know, I have my 10 historical data and then use the historical data to predict one scalar value. Now this is where you load in the model. Uh, note that each of these packages, uh, whether it be neural networks or linear models or in scikit-learn, they all have a version of the save and load models. It's very similar, uh, if not the exact same, save and load. Um, but yeah, so that is what it is. We have the RNN, we got the GRU, and we have the LSTM. So these are the weights on this package. So let's compare the RNN, for instance. Uh, we have 0.05 that looks that looks the, the exact same. That is the exact same. You can also check out the GRU if you want to. GRU, but I assume that you get the point. It's that is essentially how you load in the model and the LSTM. And then if you want to run the values, we get a very, very similar graph to what we got going on over here. Yeah, very similar. Yep. So that is how you save and load packages in Python. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I tried to make it short and concise when it comes to just loading in models. Uh, this is essentially a form of transfer learning where we already have a given model and we want to use this model for additional applications outside of our local box. If you did like this video, please make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps out with the growth of this channel and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.